television news journalist for some 20 years. I get a lot of people asking me to share my tricks of the trade. Today I want to talk to you about how you should sit and stand when you're recording videos and there is an art to it. If you look at me right now, I'm actually sitting just with the edge of my butt on this desk and my posture is perfect. There's a reason for this. It makes me look taller and it actually makes me look leaner. You want to sit up like this? Look at the difference. If I sat back like this, like what are you seeing? This is not nice. It just doesn't look polished and it's not my best look. Look what happens when I go up like this completely different and I feel more engaged with you. I want to sit down in a chair now and show you how you should be sitting if you're recording your videos that way. Here's the chair, never like this. This does not translate well on camera. You want to be like this, take a look at my feet, how they're staggered, and you want, again, just the butt, your small piece of your butt on the back of this chair. So that allows your back to be upright. Think of it like someone's actually poking you in the back and it causes you to sit up nice and tall like this. Looks way better on camera than this does. And especially this arm cross. Never the arm cross or the leg cross because legs look thicker when they're crossed on camera and this is not good body language. This, however, is. And I can engage with you with my eyes, with my body language, and I kind of remove the interface of the camera. Doesn't it feel like we're just having a conversation right now? That's the goal. Body language, posture, sitting and standing is everything when you're on the camera. It can make a huge difference in how you're perceived.